As I said, I don't care what color a deadly threat is to me. Hollow point function test, three different magazines, 124 plus P HST, 124 plus P um, Golden Saber, 115 plus P HTPs. Perfect function, all magazines locked back. The Delta's been amazing, guys. Uh, it really is uh, the best, probably once I get used to it, carry, most efficient pistol. Hey guys, Dan Wolfman here, I'm ready for my Airx Rex Delta review, the ultimate, most efficient size, weight, width, height, most efficient, standardly awesome capacity, ultimate carry gun, really. Everyone says that, but then they talk about 28 ounce pistols. This is a 22 or 22.2 ounce pistol, two ounces lighter than a Glock 19. 1.1 inches thick, so really it's like a single stack. Glock 48 killer, P365 XL care, uh, killer, unless you want to wear that. And uh, basically the ultimate carry gun, my friend's pistol. Look at my unboxing review. I'm getting uh, different stuff about it. Cheaper, metal sights, ambidextrous, uh, all kinds of good stuff. Safer, don't have to pull the trigger to take it. Safer, uh, and reholstering a little bit, especially if you carry appendix. Look at the uh, uh, unboxing review. Good metal sights already on it, but I swapped them out to R3D night sights for my older friend. Got an AR design holster specifically for Awesome. Got a holster <coughs> oath holster for a Glock 19, fits perfectly. Uh, good retention on the trigger guard. See if the CZ magazines also work in it. PO7, P10, PO9 magazines should work. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll be doing 12 rounds to warm up, get used to it. A 50 round advanced CCW style test. All the advanced stuff you really need to protect your butt that you should be doing at the range. And guys, if you're shooting 22 now, you can do the same thing with your 22. And um, then if we have time, guys, I will function test it with three different hollow points. I got 12 hollow points plus a ball round to put in the chamber. I've actually already function tested all hollow points to chamber from a closed slide or from an open slide emergency style. Everything is good to go. And uh, so hopefully we'll have time to do that. Thanks. Please thumbs up, enjoy, subscribe. And again, not all pistols are mine. I have to sell most of my pistols during the pandemic, etc. All right, guys, I got 12 rounds to warm up with. I'll go to the top left. CZ Magazine. Uh, SMB ammo, both 124 and 115. Uh, Hot stuff. I like to always bust in European pistols with the good stuff. Hot, little flippy, it's a light pistol, 22 ounces. But for Larry, it's good to go. Let's pause, see how we did. Hey guys, if I don't shoot good today, it's because I'm having some medical issues. I'm on an extra amount of medicine. I don't seem to have a little bit of essential tremor shakes today. Keep that in mind. I usually shoot really, really well. It's not the gun. Uh, obviously, I'm pulling some shots off. Those two are good. That one, obviously, I threw. So, we're on. i got to figure out where the hold is. I'm going typical, not combat, just above the front sight. Uh, but that's pretty much on. I just know that it must be today. All right, guys, still getting used to it. I'm going to do two double taps. I am working from the Glock uh, toaster or holster right now. Both holsters are great. Working from that right now, I'm going to do three draw double taps at six yards. I'm guessing my second shots will drop because I got really hot ammo and it's a pretty light pistol. If I was using pud loads, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I probably might over muscle it. The, the second shots might drop. And I'm getting used to the trigger and the reset and recoil and all that. Uh, SSP eyewear. Thumb on the back lets you know something's getting in the trigger. Lock back, CZ Mag, good sign. 
Okay, guys, for double taps, four out of five, or five out of six shots, I'm actually more impressed. I thought I was going to drop the second ones low. So I got four there, one perfectly aligned up, and these are very thin targets. Uh, one I did throw because I got a bad grip, and I actually, like, over-adjusted it as I was pulling the trigger. So it was, like, pointed over there, I saw, and I over-adjusted to keep uh, the firing. So... Okay guys, really bad news. They have apparently had an issue a few days ago and they are not letting me go, even though I've done it twice at this range before, which is a beautiful range. It looks nice, they just redid it. So I wanted to film here instead of my usual spot and I thought I would make this a more, uh, higher production value. But that kind of changes everything. I will try to modify it. I don't know if you see if they yell at me for doing kind of advanced stuff, even though I will keep it pointed down range and not be drawing at all. Um, so that sucks. So we'll try to make do, and I have to kind of slightly modify uh, a few shots that would be in my 50-round CCW test. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to do two from high pectoral index and just start there with a cover. Hey, man, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble, man. Okay, the second one went low because it was blowing uh, backwards. The first one was very nice. And a second time, high pectoral index. This really is supposed to be two here, one step back while you're still safe to a headshot, but I'm not going to do that right now. Because uh, I don't want to get yelled at, and let's see what they, if they always do. Hey, dude, I don't want any trouble, man. I don't want any trouble. Hup! Nice quick reset. Again, centered. And the second one's just because it was flying back like that. Okay, guys, next in the advanced test, and I'll have to film this again at the other range someday, probably with the 22, would be a... A fence, you're talking to the bad guy, Danny Glover over here, and, uh, you know, he pulls a gun. You go, hey, dude, I don't want any trouble. DS Clayson Tactics, verbal. Tiger Claw with the power step out. I have other videos teaching it. Tiger Claw with the power step out. Hand off, pull it up, and draw, and Mozambique in. I'm not going to do that now because I don't know a lot of different people coming in and out. I don't know the range officers. Basically, I think one just has an issue. Um, so that sucks. So I'm not even going to do this one. You would do it twice at contact distance. You're in a fence. You're practicing. You're hitting your palm strike to the eyes. Palm strike, tiger claw to the eyes. Stepping off the center line. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to do that right now. But that would be the test. So you do first. The first one is uh, either from hands down, then one from the fence. Cover, high pectoral index, headshot. We didn't do the headshots. Then the next one is the Tiger Claw. Hey man, I'm to Power step out, ba ba bum. I'm not gonna do that either because they're giving me issues. So uh, you would double up on that too. So that's three, 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 three. Really, it would be 12 rounds fired already at contact distance. Now I have to guess what three yards is and see if I can get it there. And we'll go to the Bill Jordan step out. All right, sorry guys for testing the first one. Make sure you look at my alpha review. But I'm going to simulate the Bill Jordan style bent elbow technique with a power step out to the right, a lean, a gangster lean Bill Jordan style. I have to simulate it to there. Hopefully I don't aim too high. I'm going at one and a half yards. This should be one, two, maybe three yards. Really one or two. I'm going at one and a half yards because the range just showed me how to do it. So here you would draw and... And there you go. I got two in the center mass perfectly and one right in the tee box. So I'm happy. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting really used to the pistol now. Okay, guys, set it at one, one and a half yards. I'm at one and a half yards. I'm going to do three from high compress ready. And uh, I put three in, a, three in a jagged line, I think. I'm liking it. Okay, next up is three from modified car position elbow in for recoil. I'll use this for searching. If you're going down a hallway, I really like this technique. Or if you're advancing from cover to another cover at 45 degree angle or uh, movement wise, the modified car, John Wick style, very, very good. So at three yards here, three yards, picking up that nice front orange on this beautiful access R3D sights. Evaluate, check. And I would reholster. Okay, next up, really for real, would be from the ready seven yards, issuing verbal high. commands: drop the knife, drop the gun, and then two headshots. Drop the knife. 
and slide lock back on the Flush Fit Magazine. All right, guys, we're staying at 70 yards a bit. I'm typically topped with the uh, base plate magazine plus one, three strong hand only, three weak hand only. Instead of this, I'm actually turning sideways because in reality, this would usually be me stutter stepping uh, uh, and one, two, three, moving. Uh, I'm not doing it, even though I had planned now. Uh, so I will do three sideways, three. Okay guys, seven yards, fast five, we'll be drawing, but we're going from low ready. Drop it! Okay guys, next up is something that people don't train enough of, and that's why it's in here, is blading and verbal commands. State you're in, brandishing laws, uh, slash assault. It's it's dead. so you got someone you're like, stay right there, man. I don't want any trouble. And instead of staying square, I turn. What you're doing at three o'clock in your appendix, it's also getting the weapon away from the guy if he was closer. You're gonna go back off to stay right there. And this hand is finding the grip of your pistol, but your shirt, look in the mirror, guys, practicing, your shirt is still obscuring the pistol. And someone might know what it is, but legally, and, and video cameras and witnesses, you are still very, very protected. So, sometimes it comes to that verbal command, don't make me do it, man, back off. And you put your hand, whether appendix or three o'clock, you're getting a grip, but the, 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 the shirt cover garment generally stays over it. So, uh, I just have to simulate sideways, and it's good to always shoot from different positions. Back off, dude. Don't do it. And I threw my second shot bad up high right. Ooh, it might be a miss. Okay, guys, next up would be 15 yards now. Draw the headshot. Obviously, I'm not doing it again. Go low ready. I try to do this in three seconds. This is some spicy stuff. Draw the headshot. We're, not, we're going from low ready today, but... You know, you're in a church and boom, you got to make it. This gives you a lot of confidence once you start doing this pretty um, regularly. Okay. So, 15 yard head. All right, guys, please subscribe to my channel. The Delta's been awesome so far. Perfect functioning, all different magazines, flush, extended, CZ mag, uh, been perfect, top off, plus one, perfect. 15 yards still, you're going to do three emergency reload, three, it would be from the draw, obviously, um, but 15 yards, three, slide lock, emergency reload, three. Yeah, I got there we go. Okay, guys, the last part of my test is whatever your longest is, 15 yards or 25. I got 25 now from cover, some kind of cover, whatever you can do, kneeling down like behind a car, which is what I'm going to do, or if you had a side swing, or at least from a, a kneeling position, doing a different position and cover. 15 yards or 25, I got 25. It's going to be hard. And I already pulled some shots high and right today, guys. I already know that. Okay, guys, here's the results so far. Good headshots. Everything's pretty good. The couple of low ones, remember, that was high pectoral index when it was flying back. Other than my four flyers, I did call going high and right. Like, the gun's a little thinner than I'm used to. And uh, my second shot sometimes did go a little high right. But overall, considering it's a very hard test, it's pretty good. And, yeah, that's my boy David over there. And, yes, there's a white target over there. And, yes, I use some random targets. Most of the photorealistic targets are multiple occasion guys. As I said, I don't care what color a deadly threat is to me. Hollow point function test, three different magazines, 
124 plus P HST, 124 plus P um, Golden Saber, 115 plus P HTPs. Perfect function, all magazines locked back. The Delta's been amazing, guys. Uh, it really is uh, the best, probably once I get used to it, carry most efficient pistol. I made a video of the top 10 lightweight under 25 ounce pistols. That was on there. Then James Reeves did his thing. It was really number one. He cheated, put it in number two, but really it's still number one with the base plate magazine, size, efficiency, weight, thinness, height, all dimensionally to weight and capacity. It is really kind of the ultimate carry gun. Uh, if you can handle rec recoil control well, which you see I did pretty good. I used that target earlier because it had a better box on the middle, and unfortunately something happened, and I have to say that. Uh, but, guys, I'm very impressed with the Rex Delta, the Rex Alpha. Check it out. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thanks to everyone for the holsters, the night sights, and all that. And I'll catch you on the flip side, everybody. Cheers. Okay, guys, with the three magazines, the hollow point function test, I think I started with ball, then 124 HST plus PHST. Then 115 plus P HTP, then 124 plus P Golden Saber, and the mags were that way. 14 rounds, uh, that's one bad one, but at least I hit the target. But 13 out of 14, those are still pretty combat effective hits, I would say. Uh, these are all pretty, pretty, pretty good when you're going rapid fire. So I think those five yards are doing fast five. So guys, the Delta, uh, I love it. I think it's great. You might want to pick one up now, especially right now and uh, have something small but high capacity enough. It can be a house gun, a pocket gun, a backup gun, a carry gun. Please sub. Please sub. Everybody. Bam, 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 bam. Boom. Boom. Ah. And now I got this guy. Nim, nim, nim. Ah, I'll play his ear off and try to choke him out. And I got him. Next. Bam. Sorry, sorry. I want to I want to ask you about 52. Is some of that yeah. your brother or someone was teaching you some jailhouse rocks and 52 oh, hands? Daniel Marks, Marks, Daniel Marks. Yeah, yeah, see, I see. <laughs> you can see, you know, yeah. you can see that movement there. Yeah. Um, That's cool, you know, about 52. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know. And there's like this old cat with him, right? And I'm kind of watching him and I go up to him and I'm like, you know, and I'm like, I mentioned 52 or jailhouse rock yeah. or whatever. He looks at me like, white boy, where did you, yeah, where you how you do you know what I'm doing over here? Yeah. Wow. 